Did you know that babies as young as three months old prefer looking at faces deemed attractive by adults? Even before they can speak, infants gaze longer at symmetrical, balanced features, a clue that our obsession with beauty is wired into our biology. But if beauty is universal, why do ideals change so drastically across cultures and centuries? And why does it hold such power over our self-worth, relationships, and even success? Let's dive into the science, history, and psychology behind why some faces captivate us, and how beauty standards shape our world. The evolution of beauty. From survival to selfie filters, beauty isn't just about vanity. Evolutionary psychologists argue it's a survival tool. Symmetrical faces, for example, signal genetic health. Our ancestors unconsciously gravitated toward partners with balanced features, as asymmetry could indicate disease or poor development. Similarly, clear skin and strong bone structure hinted at fertility and resilience, key traits for thriving offspring. Studies show that faces blending averageness, resembling the majority, with slight uniqueness are rated most attractive. This coinophilia, which means a love for the familiar, explains why trends like the Instagram face dominate. They're hyper-stylized versions of universal traits. But evolution isn't the whole story. Consider the Venus figurines of the Paleolithic era. Tiny statuettes exaggerating hips and breasts, suggesting fertility was prized even 30,000 years ago. But beauty standards aren't static. Ancient Egyptians prized almond-shaped eyes and braided wigs, while Renaissance Europe celebrated fuller figures as a sign of wealth. The 1920s glorified boyish silhouettes. The 1990s, heroin chic thinness. Today, Kardashian-era curves clash with TikTok's clean girl minimalism. What's consistent? The human urge to define beauty and conform to it. Even Cleopatra's iconic eyeliner wasn't just fashion. It protected her eyes from infections, showing how beauty and utility often overlap. Modern research confirms our brains are wired for symmetry. A 2022 study in Nature used AI to analyze millions of faces and found that symmetry correlates with perceived trustworthiness. But here's the twist. Slight asymmetry can signal creativity. Think Jimi Hendrix's tousled hair or Frida Kahlo's unibrow, flaws that became iconic. Biology versus society. The clash of universal traits and cultural quirks. Science tells us symmetry, clear skin, and expressive eyes are universally appealing. But culture writes the rule book. The Maasai tribe in Kenya admire scarification as a mark of bravery, while Myanmar's Kayan people associate long necks with elegance. In contrast, Western media often equates beauty with youth and flawless skin, a standard amplified by filters and plastic surgery. In South Korea, pale skin is prized for its association with nobility, while in Brazil, a curvy silhouette symbolizes sensuality. These differences aren't random, they're tied to history, climate, and values. For instance, Japan's geisha culture celebrates white face paint as a canvas for artistry, while India's bridal henna designs celebrate intricate patterns as symbols of luck. Society's standards can warp self-perception. Consider the Duchenne smile, a genuine grin engaging eye muscles, versus the Instagram smile, perfected for the camera. When we're bombarded with edited images, our brains start viewing real faces as flawed, this fuels a $500 billion global beauty industry, selling everything from serums to surgeries. But even within cultures, there's tension. In Iran, rhinoplasty is commonplace, yet post-revolutionary trends favor a natural nose, a pushback against westernization. Beauty is a language. In Papua New Guinea, the Huli tribe paint their faces yellow to mimic the sun's life-giving power. It's not about vanity. It's about connecting to their environment and ancestors. The psychological toll. How beauty standards shape minds. Beauty bias is real. Research shows attractive people are perceived as smarter, more trustworthy, and more competent, a phenomenon called the halo effect. They're more likely to be hired, promoted, and even receive lighter prison sentences. But this privilege comes at a cost. The pressure to maintain an ideal can lead to anxiety, eating disorders, and body dysmorphia. A 2023 Harvard study found that attractive LinkedIn profiles received 30% more job offers. Yet, 
The same study showed that those who undergo cosmetic procedures often report temporary satisfaction, followed by anxiety about losing their edge. It's a vicious cycle. When you're told your worth is tied to your appearance, self-esteem becomes fragile. Even those who meet societal standards often fear losing their value as they age. Thankfully, movements like body positivity and anti-aesthetic trends on TikTok are challenging narrow norms. Brands now feature acne, gray hair, and diverse body types, but progress is slow. In 2023, over 70% of teens still report feeling ugly due to social media comparisons. Apps like Facetune have even coined the term Snapchat dysmorphia, where users seek surgery to look like their filtered selves. The future of beauty. Can science and diversity coexist? Technology is reshaping beauty in paradoxical ways. Apps like Facetune let us sculpt our images, yet AI research reveals a shift. Algorithms trained on diverse datasets now prioritize uniqueness over Eurocentric features. Meanwhile, scientists study hyper-personalized beauty, using DNA to customize skin care or hair color. The future might blend science and self-expression. Imagine a world where we enhance our natural traits without erasing them, or where algorithms celebrate individuality instead of conformity. But this requires redefining beauty as a spectrum, not a finish line. Virtual influencers like Lil Laquella have millions of followers, challenging the notion that beauty requires a real body. Meanwhile, biotech startups are developing CRI, SPR-based treatments to edit freckles or dimples. A frontier that raises ethical questions. Is it empowerment or eugenics? By 2040, we'll see beauty tech that adapts to your mood, environment, and even political views. Your face could become a canvas for activism or a rejection of norms altogether. Beauty began as a survival instinct. It evolved into art, rebellion, and now. A mirror reflecting our values. Whether we cling to ancient ideals or embrace radical diversity, one truth remains. Beauty is not just seen, it's felt. It's a story we tell about ourselves. So what story do you want to tell? Thanks for watching. If you've ever felt pressured to look a certain way, remember, evolution gave you traits that have survived millennia. You're literally designed to be here. Drop a comment. What's one beauty standard you'd love to redefine? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into the science of everyday life. See you next time.